these days with like cafes dealing with my anti counterparts uh, it's so crazy but I'm glad that at least I can I can rest for a bit before like you know any other bullshit will happen plus I love those autumn things being going on because well it definitely does bring me some you know some mm, happiness around oh oh uh, oh hi there Um, alright then, <clears throat> the name is Max, Max the Rockstar Hawk. Rockstar? Yeah. I'm sorry, uh, my name is Chase the High Dog, uh, I'm an ultimate life. Mm hmm I see. Well, what can I tell about myself? Well, I'm a guardian from a cyberpunk city that, let's just say, got burnt alive thanks to my anti-counterpart, so for now I'm just, you know, trying to fight him and then I'm just keep working as a official owner of two cafes such as Black Cat and, well, La Barista. Hmm. Yeah. Well, I should probably get closer to you, I'm so sorry for being like that, um, oh. well, what can I say about myself? Uh, pretty boring person, but I'm still an ultimate life form. Uh, I have an anti-counterpart as well, like you said. Um, I haven't seen him in a while, though. Not really good. <sighs> Probably find him, see what he's up to. They could be working together. Wait, you mean my anti and your anti? Oh, Jesus. Yes. Wait, are you familiar uh, with some certain devil hog named Maximilian? Familiar. Mm, doesn't ring a bell, but Jack the High Dog? Um. Yeah, that's my anti. Oh. Pretty... pretty bad. Not but to mention... We should probably lighten up the mood. Oh. We should probably lighten up the mood, but go ahead. Ah, yeah, but... <laughs> I was just done with another... Well, evening shift at my black cat earlier, so I decided to just hop through dimensions and go around, and somehow I... Ended up being here, which I actually love it. This place does really seem very peaceful. I was just going around here. I don't like it. Well, definitely it looks way from different from my childhood because the childhood, you know, everything was crazy. Cyberpunk cities. High level of criminalism, and then poof! My parents died when I was two years old in auto catastrophe, and well, I had to survive it on my own, doing some, well, orphan schoolership and such. But then, um, certain EXC, who is also a grandparent for my anti, was pretty much haunting me for my, like, since I was a kid, by the way, but for now, he doesn't really, well, harass me, unlike his grandson, aka my counterpart, uh, it's so wicked, isn't it? Not to mention, my anti is the one who is responsible for my city go blast, for my parents, uh, well, passing away thing and along with three millions of innocent souls there so pretty much I had to escape on my own sound like you had a lot I literally just met you yeah 
but for now everything is different like I have a amazing wife named Starlight I am working well I'm meeting new people around trying to keep everything well together as I can claim I guess and well to make everything make it clear not only I keep my cafes in a good way like you know serving customers and such I also do other things like for instance I do sometimes karaoke concerts or like joke stage moments <laughs> been going a lot about you. I really don't know what to say about me. I'm kind of a social weirdo. Don't really get out much as I as I should. But yeah. <laughs> Trust me, I am a nerdy as fuck as well. <laughs> <laughs> hmm, you've been inside that building? Um no, it's not my home place, but yeah, I do have a home place from my end. Yeah, like I said, I accidentally got here and you know, partition sometimes tends to mess around with me, but well, you seem kind of cool and well... Good thing is, you're not in another anti, as like I had to face, well, uh, my own counterpart along with his colleagues, such as uh, who, Sailor Anarchy, aka anti counterpart of Sailor Peace, which is my sister, and uh, I think. Wait, <gasps> yeah, he is also covering with Bloodstar, a cake, anti counterpart of my good friend Blue Star the Husky. I don't know if you're familiar with these names, but yeah, they're like close friends of mine, like siblings, kind of thing. Well, well, here's the thing. Came here about a month ago. Haven't really met anybody since. Except this one guy named Edginus Hedgehog. Oh, Edginus. I know this guy. I met him at my workplace because not only his friend and roommate Edgy Shadow paid a visit there, but Edginus did the same thing. And we pretty much became very good pals. Yeah. I haven't seen Edginus since, but he did mention a lot about his shadow that he's roommates with. Mm hmm. Uh, he's, he's an ultimate life form as well. And I'm trying to find more people like me. Well, I mean. Come on, you can always be honest with me. Like. I don't even consider you as enemy, plus, well, you have been nice to me as well, so, like, there's nothing wrong, wrong in being awkward, because, pff, I'm awkward myself <laughs> Yeah, I just don't know what to say at times. Eh, sometimes, I do tend to have brain farts moments, even when I'm ultra smart ass. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's where I actually got teleported. I got teleported. But I like this part because. If you get up there, you can see some seaside from there. Yeah, if I can. <laughs> doesn't want me to. I guess the art chat uh, is being a bitch. <laughs> Uh, 
I don't know why, but it kind of gives me some cool vibes when I used to have some, I don't know, beach time with some close friends that I used to have in like my, um, well, home place I was originally born, but you know, everyone, I guess, flew to the different destinations and I was the only one who stayed there until, well, I was 18 and I guess you kind of know what happened since I already told you this, so, yep, the city called New Soul City is gone. Because of Maximilian, right? Yeah, not to mention one time I remember I visited with my sister back there and man, I didn't knew that after like some years passed and it hasn't changed, like still broken streets, lying dead bodies around, which after anyway disappeared by some strange reason, but so pretty much some kind of dark theory been going on there. <clears throat> But yeah. Hmm. You sound like a tough cookie. I'm roll with that. <laughs> well, well. Let's just say I already have witnessed a lot of things that I would not recommend to any child. Child witness around, and not to mention that. Well. My anti, I'm not gonna go deep down into details, but let's just say he pretty much harassed me in different ways, like mentally and any other manipulation, dirty manipulations he did to me when I was tortured. And do you know how I got all of these black wings? Like before I. Well, was one of his victims, I was just a regular hedgehog, but then he kind of tried to do an experience with me and make me into um, EXE or devil, I don't exactly remember who, but you know, evil creature, and pretty much he kind of messed up, and then I resulted in getting, well, black wings, and it kind of helped me out to escape. Even, I think I even burnt the laboratory that he was having back there, but yeah. I'm glad I survived this night. Careful not to fall off. <laughs> mm -hmm. Well, I mean, I can just Pretty fly. The edge. Hmm. Oh, yeah, I guess that's what the wings are for, right? <laughs> well, a yes. little bit about me, I guess. Hmm. I guess, uh, I was basically the Shadow 2.0, if you will. Uh, so basically the same story, except Eggman created me and not Chiro. Um. Oh? Yeah. I don't really like talking about Eggman. At least my Eggman, he's a pretty cruel dude, I haven't seen him in quite a while. But, hopefully I don't have to ever again. So pretty much, Eggman is, is a big villain figure for ya? Yeah, I've heard about an Eggman from this dimension. Or the modern dimension, whatever this dimension is. Oh, um, I think I'm aware yeah. about it. But... Mm -hmm. But he's nowhere, my Eggman's nowhere near what this Eggman is. You know what? As I always joke about Eggman's... <clears throat> Do you know why Eggman is a fat? Because he is pregnant as usual with stupid ideas about robot creations. <laughs> or maybe he's just a stupid thing as head who is pregnant with eggs. <laughs> <laughs> For the longest time ever, I kind of felt, I guess, sad in a way. 
I don't feel like that's the word. Anyways, I feel like you and me, we've got something. I just don't know what it is. <laughs> well, definitely we went through, well, we both went through shit, which kind of made us <clears throat> better and bigger as a person than we were before, I guess. Hmm. What else does this place have to offer? And I swear if I can't get it back up here. Ugh. Ugh. Yeah, that time was easier. Thank God I didn't get any bruises when I teleported here. <laughs> Teleportation and chaos control they can travel. Depends on where you're traveling. For me, I don't really know because my chaos control is acting up. Yeah, it's the same goes with me, I guess, but you know what? I'm kind of focused on doing two things. One, keeping up with my business, which is, you know, I work actually in different places, not like those cafes I mentioned about. I'm also a, well, McDonald's worker at a certain Spice Universe, along with KFC worker at Cool Universe. I don't know if you're aware about these universes, but let's just say I have been in different universes. Hmm. Are some stranger than others? Well, I mean, I just like sometimes exploring and maybe searching those people I can, like, count on, probably. Hmm. You know, like I said, you seem like a pretty cool dude. And <laughs> just make me feel something that I haven't felt in a while since I've been here. Well, I guess with me you can always joke around about some things. <laughs> <laughs> like about that fat ass bitch you told me. Sounds <laughs> harsh, but I mean I don't mind making an omelette out of his body. <laughs> Well, that's definitely who I am. Yeah, it seems like it. Hmm. Well, sometimes... Everything. Go ahead. I was about to say that humor is a great stress relief. Doesn't it mean maybe Destiny meant to, you know, um, meet us here for the first time being? Because I kind of feel like some things that I might understand what's been going on, but hard to explain. I don't think you kind of do. Well, not with the voice, just how I talk. I don't like that. Well, at least I didn't see you saying too much of Oh yeah, this is happening, you're too slow! <laughs> <laughs> Especially one friend of mine from Spicy Universe who is too slow in uh, his girlfriend's blanket. <laughs> <Yeah. laughs> mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. 
Oh yeah, I maybe will introduce you to, well, my friends there another day if you will, well, have a desire to pay a visit to Black Cat or Laborista. And oh, by the way, here is the phone contacts of this place, so feel free to take them. Mm-hmm. I'm gonna have to show me around this world, because I'm like from everyone and everywhere. It's like the same, but not. I know pretty much nothing. Well, I guess we can go downstairs, since I showed you, well... Okay, since I, sh I think I kind of showed you this area, so let's go for another one. Man, this is so long, like, I barely remember even walking downstairs like that. Hmm. Bounce, bounce, baby, bounce, bounce to me. You call me there. Oh, wait, hold on a second. Is this like new rage shit been going on? I think it's new rage, but I'm not sure. Kinda feeling like some sort of illusion. Well, I guess we should just go back because I personally don't want to go this way. Like I said, I recently got, well, um, basically I finished my evening shift at my cafe I'm running, so no big surprise why I can be tired physically, as not to mention I had to deal with some <clears throat> crazy moments there, <laughs> but everything is alright. <clears throat> Oh, all right. Hmm. Yeah, it's nice to meet you, Max. Hmm. <laughs> Same goes to you, there, buddy. <laughs> oh yeah, and I know I didn't say my name much, but I'm Jace. If you, if you forgot. <laughs> no, I still remember. You already mentioned that before, so <clears throat> no oopsie poopsie moments happened, anyways. <laughs> All right. Chaos. See ya. Oh. Ah. Oh. Okay. I better get running. Oh. Hmm. Man, this dude is kind of cool. I mean, yeah, he kind of gives me some nerd vibes, but actually, I like it because hey, I'm a nerdy as well. Oh. There's no one here. Well, I guess I will have some fun time here another day. So, all right, three, two, one, chaos control. They say life will bring discomfort, and I discovered we all just suffer because no one feels that bad. And it comes from one another We hurt each other just like a lover And don't think twice about that yeah. And I feel like something's bad But hell, I'm used to that I always turn my back 